Hello and welcome back. Today I have something pretty interesting and it is from Reds Engineering. And it is kind of a repeater. They say it's a high performance two-way radio repeater. But it is actually a little smart box that sort of does a voice relay. If you think of radio repeaters in the ham world, it's usually two transmitters that can receive and send at the same time with all kinds of filtering. But this one is done a lot simpler and smarter. Why would you need a repeater? Well, let's say we have a person here who wants to talk to this person here. And uh, they just have a simple radio like this. That will probably just work. But what if there is a mountain in between and the signal just cannot go through? Then you need some sort of amplify relay system or a repeater. So what you do, you put an antenna right here and the signal goes here and it is relayed here. What we usually see in the ham radio repeaters is that we have a transceiver and a transmitter and they can work at the same time. So you transmit on a lower frequency and then it is transmitted back through the relay in the normal receive frequency and if you talk back the transmitter automatically switches to a lower frequency and then it transmits back to the normal receive frequency and then here you have a, a transmitter and a receiver that need to work at the same time without one making the other one deaf so the point is here that you need very specific very narrow band filters which makes it very expensive but Red's Engineering have a different idea about this. He said, well, what if we just put one transmitter receiver, like a little radio like this, 25 euros or, or 25 dollars, something like that. What if we just transmit to this radio here? We record the message and then we play it back later. And we can do that on the same frequency, so we don't need to use a repeater shift. And when the other person wants to talk back, it is just sending on the same frequency and the message is recorded and it will be playing back the same message here. So what is in the box? Of course, the radio was not included. When I opened it, I already saw a nice card with a repeater. We see where we can use it for. I see a lot of people in the woods. So maybe in the preppers community, it would also be very interesting. It is mainly made for the for the Bofeng, the UV5. This is a 5R, so that's no problem. And well, they have some other brands that in the end electronics are also just from Bofeng. It's a radio that is easy available, so that is not a problem. Well, here we have the actual box. You can scan for the manual. And let's see what's in there. Content of the box. We have here a little USB to USB-C to charge because it even has a battery. And I already like how well this is packaged. And this, at the time that I checked, it was around $50. So I'm really surprised that you get this. All these cables, it looks all like proper quality. Look at that. And what we have here, this is the repeater itself. We can see the battery in here, the USB-C to charge. And it even has a Wi-Fi connection, I see, for configuration. Look at that little box, very nicely designed even. Well, there is a power button, there is a setup button. When you push the setup button, it becomes an access point and you can access the device and you can put your call sign in there. And then after each message, you can even send your ID in Morse code, your, your call sign. Uh, by default, that's switched off, but you can do that. Uh, there is a charge light, transmit light, uh, play light, and a rec light, and a power. So. When you charge it the first time and you switch it on, if it doesn't switch on, and I think he made some sort of a circuit in there, it's only something I needed to do once, is uh, when it doesn't switch on, when you push the power button, well, of course, it can be empty, but there is a little reset button here, and I think he made a little circuit that the battery doesn't uh, drain during shipping, so then you'll just reset it once. You just push the little reset button. You can do that with the USB-C just by pushing. And then 
it's reset and the power is on. And after that, the power button just works. I, th I think it's done for it not to drain. Of course, I read the manual, but it is quite straightforward. There is not too much to it. As long as you have a radio in the UV5 uh, series, you just connect the plug in the microphone plug. And, well, there is only one hole where it fits. You just put it, I switch it on. I know I'm in the band, but I will just leave it there because I'm allowed there. I switch it on. Well, now we have the repeater already set up. So I will be sending with my mobile. It will be recorded here and then relayed. And then we can listen it back here on the base station. And then when the base station talks, it will be relayed again with this one. And then we hear it there. Only now, everything is in range of each other, which usually in this situation would not be the case. I will be transmitting. Test 1, 2, 3. Papa Echo 1, Oscar November Sierra. And that also works the other way around. Ja, gehoord. Papa Echo 1, Oscar November Sierra. So that is all we needed to do. Just switch it on, connect the cables, and it works already. Everyone can do this. I am always crazy about LEDs, and luckily they made a lot of them. So uh, it is now in default mode. So let's me try to transmit with the portable. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And here we see it was recording and then playing it back and also put the transmit on. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, Papa Echo 1, Oscar November Sierra. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, Papa Echo 1, Oscar November Sierra. So having only this magic box and your portable radio, you have a complete repeater relay system. This is amazing. And uh, this is the SRP22 and it, this is the, yeah, probably the second version. I haven't seen the first one, but this one records up to uh, 10 seconds per time. And there is now also a version 3 which records even 45 seconds if I'm correct. So that's pretty neat. So imagine putting your own repeater somewhere on a hill, if of course allowed uh, by licenses, but only using your little radio and this little magic box, and maybe with a big battery and some solar panels, and you can just run it forever. There is a setup button here, and what can we do in the setup? Well, by pushing it, it all the lights are on, it means it's now in setup mode. It becomes now an access point. So with the laptop or with the computer with Wi-Fi, we should be able to connect to it. So let's see if we go to the Wi-Fi, do we see one? Yeah, I see here the SRP202. So that is the access point. Well, that went very smooth. It opens a page. It doesn't open the correct page, but uh, I uh, created a shortcut. You can find the address in the manual. It is just this address. You don't need to do the rest. It will switch to that. Okay, so what can we do here? Um, we can enable the station ID. I already put in my call sign and Periodic, I think maybe you can do it on every hour or every minute. Let's put it to 20. And then it should, after every relay of after playing back every recording, it will send the call sign as well. The deep sleep, I'm not sure. We can probably find it in the manual. So I will just save this. Okay, it's already saved. And you can do a firmware update. And I will show that later. I already did that. Having done those settings, we click again on the setup. It reads the config and reboots. And now it's ready again. So when we do the same thing again, we will hear also now the call sign behind. 
One, two, three, four, Papa Echo One, Oscar and Fembe One, two, three, four, Papa Echo One, Oscar and Fembe That is a pretty cool option. Of course, uh, it will take a lot of time and the transmitter needs to do a lot of more transmitting, doing that after every relay. But there was also a setting to do that periodically. So it all depends on your local regulations, of course, but the options are there. So this is the whole repeater system, a $20 radio with a $50 smart box and Add a big battery, add some solar panels, you have a completely off-grid uh, repeater system. Also, this is the first time that a, a little device like this with built-in Wi-Fi being an access point, it, it just connected without any problems because I have done this with a uh, clock and all kinds of uh, ESP32 systems and connecting is almost always a problem and a red did some proper programming here because it just works and let's zoom in on it once more it is very nicely built here in the back you see even all the connectors so maybe if you want to use it for a different radio that should be possible because there is not too much communication we have microphone we have ptt which is push to talk we have the speaker and the ground so you probably can make your own adapter and that is why he also sells those plug on the website and uh, you just need to be sure to connect it the proper way to your radio and you can use it. And if you think, well, the repeater is a nice idea, but it is kind of open, everyone can use it. Well, this box is only on the audio level. We saw with the connector, we have microphone, we have speaker, so that's it. So when you program your repeater radio, the one that you dedicated to do the relays, if you program this one with sub-audio or some other digital squells, it will just work on that. Of course, your uh, mobile radio and your base station also need to have that. So you can make it as secure as you like. So a quick look at the website. Oh, I even see as a promotion between the version 2 and the version 3. If you buy them both together, they are 99.95. So it means 50 each. And usually I think it was 50 for the 2 and 60 for the O3 with the 45 seconds. Well, he explains a lot how and we have all the manuals here. What is the biggest difference between the 2 and 3? Well, that is only the 10 seconds in the 45 troubleshooting guide. I think he even has here examples to put in your radio. The store. All kinds of plugs and converters. And the prices are really very, very acceptable. Look at this. How can you make a box for $50 with all the time and effort that is put in there? And even these cables for only 6 yeah, I'm amazed. Red did a great job here. And we can get even the firmware. And I will show also in the end of the video how you can update your firmware. Okay, the device is in setup mode. So we should be able to see it, and we do. So let's connect. Yes, do a firmware upgrade. And I saw in the download here. There is a newer version, so let's try that. I see all the lights are off, so it's now out of the setup mode. I think it rebooted, so if I push now again the setup button, yeah, all the lights are green again. Let's see if we are connected again, or that we already, yeah, here it is again. Let's connect back. Well, this redirect we don't need, but do we have now a newer firmware? Uh, it said fail to update. Did it actually fail to update or not? No, it actually did do the update. Great. So that was it. The Reds Engineering SRPT02. And 
I say it again, I am amazed how easy this was to install, how easy it was to operate. It was actually zero install. You just plug it in and it works. If you wanted to do extra, you log into the web interface, which also works immediately the first time. So I think Red did a great job building this thing and also keeping the price low, by the way. So thank you, Red, for sending this. I really enjoyed uh, using it. And uh, yeah, it made my day today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.